Sandra! It was so nice to see you today. Thanks so much for coming into the shop today. I hope you like the new light roast we had. We literally just got it shipped in from Costa Rica. I hope it wasn't too strong for you. Great to see you as well, my dear. It was quite delicious. Usually, I don't take my coffee black, but I'm glad I took your advice and got it that way. I wouldn't have been able to taste the quality if I had it with milk or sugar. Plus, I usually drink light roasts because I heard they contain more caffeine than regular coffees. I need to be on my toes at the hospital. Oh, great. How have things been at the hospital lately? Oh, you know, the same old thing, I suppose. We're bracing ourselves for the influx of patients coming in for the 4th of July. It's always a mix of people getting injured by fireworks or accidents from when they drink too much. People must really love their fireworks to go across state lines to buy them and bring them back here. I think it's a good thing they're illegal here. If not, we would definitely see more injuries all year round. Alcohol and explosives are a very deadly combination. Oh, I never thought about that. Do you usually get a lot of patients coming in around the holidays? Actually, yes, we do. Holidays mean a lot of people drinking more than usual, which also means a lot of injuries or incidents stemming from alcohol use. We always see a spike of drunk driving accidents, especially near the end of the year. I just don't understand why people still drink and drive when there are so many ride-sharing options available these days. If the regular person saw the things I saw in the ER from drunk driving, they probably would never drink another drop of alcohol ever again. I can imagine. You are really doing thankless work by taking care of the citizens of the city. I admire you. I can see why Sam turned out to be such a wonderful guy. He had a great role model to look up to. Oh dear, there's no need to flatter me. I'm sure you've whipped him into shape better than I could. I don't know about that. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk to you about how things are going with the wedding planning. Everything's been going smoothly so far. The venue is all booked and so far there have been no problems. Sam is being very helpful with the planning as well. It's almost as if he wants to speed things up and get everything finished as soon as possible. That's great to hear. Have you thought about going on a honeymoon? Yes, we have. We both have trips we want to go on, but we're both a little stubborn about giving in to what the other person wants. <laughs> Sam wants to go to Hawaii for snorkeling and hiking, but I want to go on a little tour of Europe. I've never been, even though I studied German in all of high school. I really want to go and see if I still remember any of it. If we time it right, we could be there for Oktoberfest, which has always been my dream. Then I wanted to head over to Italy to the Amalfi Coast for a little change of pace. I think it's the perfect blend of being active, but then also relaxing and enjoying ourselves. Well, I wanted to wait until after the wedding to tell you this, but I can't hold it in any longer. I have a surprise for you and Sam. I'd like to fully pay for your honeymoon. Really? No way! Sandra, that's too kind of you. You really don't have to do that. Wait, there's more. Listening to you explain your dream vacation brought me back to when I was in medical school. During semesters, I took a two-week trip to Italy and it changed me forever. That's why I will only agree to pay for the full trip if Sam gives in and chooses to do your honeymoon plan. Wow, that's so nice of you. I guess you really can't say no now. <laughs> I had no idea that you went to Italy in the past. It sounds like you really enjoyed yourself if you say it changed you. Oh dear, just wait until your first bite of fresh pasta. It's like you've never eaten real food until you try what they serve there. All the ingredients are so fresh and natural that you don't even feel guilty for eating everything in sight. <laughs> I'm like a million times more excited now. I really can't thank you enough. Well, just hold your horses because that's not all. There's more? Early Sandra, this is more than enough. I've decided that I will pay for the house for the two of you to start your new lives in. Knowing how kind you are, I bet you'll try to convince me otherwise, but I've made up my mind. I can't possibly accept that. A new house? A vacation is one thing, but buying us a house is just too much. I really appreciate the sentiment, though, but I don't know if I'd be comfortable accepting that. Rita... Please let me do this for you. 
I've already worked out the financial side of things and I can afford it. I'm blessed that working in the medical field allows me a very high salary. This is my way of thanking you for treating my son so well and also a way to say please continue to look after him in the future. Sandra, I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. Just keep moving forward with planning the wedding and let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. You've done so much already. I couldn't possibly ask you for anything else after this. If anything, please tell me what I can do for you. Is there anything you want? Anything I can get you to show my appreciation? Hmm. Well, actually, I haven't gotten myself anything new in quite some time. I'm not sure if I've told you this already, but I'm actually a VIP member at the premium outlets outside of town. That means I get special treatments and also I get a lot of discounts on almost every store. Maybe we could go there together and if you don't mind, I could pick out a few things for you to get me. I could use my discount so it would be cheaper for you. Sure, that would be great. Do you have anything specifically in mind? Well, I was thinking about getting a new pair of earrings and a new dress for the wedding. I hope that wouldn't be too much trouble. That sounds great. I wouldn't mind getting you those things. Perfect. Thank you, dear. Oh, and by the way, the outlets have a lot of very nice designer furniture. With my VIP discount, it may come out to be the same price as if you were buying basic furniture from Ikea or something. You'll need new furniture for your house, won't you? This would be a good chance to furnish everything. That would be great. I think it'd be a great idea to get some new things to kick off our new life together. Thanks for the suggestion. When would you like to go there? I'm free this weekend if you don't have anything planned already. I'll have to check my schedule and get back to you. The hospital is constantly moving shifts around depending on when we're understaffed. By the way, the stores are very strict when it comes to who can use the discount. They only allow the person who has VIP membership to use it and not anyone else. In other words, I'm the only one that can use it. They won't give us the discount if they know you are the one buying things. Got it. When we go there, I won't say anything about being the one who will be buying everything. That's great. Anyway, I've got to go. I'll let you know when we can go and get everything. Sounds good. Thanks again for everything. I really need you to cooperate with me from now on. I need your help. Understand? Yes, I understand. I know what to do. We've done it a few times already. She's really happy about me offering to pay for the honeymoon, and now I've told her that I'm going to help her buy the house. I think she's really happy with me. Very trusting. You didn't mention anything beforehand about either of those things, did you? No, I didn't. I thought I'd leave it to you. If I'm going to help you buy the house, then I'm expecting some really nice presents in return. It has to be something luxury and expensive. I want top designer brands and nothing else will do. I'll try to get that done. I'll mention it tomorrow. I also told her that I was a VIP in the mall. I'm really expecting VIP treatment here. I know that she thinks she's going to have a nice life once she marries into the family. Plus, there's no reason for her to believe I'm not actually working in a hospital. She totally believes us. I think we've really got her trust on this. I don't think she's going to have any doubts about the wedding. You really know what to do. I don't have any doubts either. You've convinced everyone involved. Of all the girls you've had, this girl really is the richest. She's from a really good family. I want to get a lot of money from this. I won't be happy with anything less. Of course you're going to get a lot of money. Do you really think she's going to believe everything we say? What if she realizes what's going on? I don't think we need to worry about that. I think we've got her in a trap. She's not going to suspect anything. I'll just keep being nice to her and she won't suspect a thing. This is all going to go just how we want it to go. She seems to be the perfect target for us. She's just what we've been looking for. We just need to keep up the act until we get the money. I don't want you to make any mistakes this time. Remember what happened last time. You were careless and that girl nearly called the police. We don't want that happening again, so be more careful this time. I know. I nearly made a big mistake last time. 
I was really worried for a time. I won't mess up this time. I'll make sure it all goes to plan. You don't need to worry about that. I hope I can believe you on this. Dad, Sam's mom has told me that she wants to help us buy the house after we get married. She told me she wants to help us out. Really? That's going to be expensive for her. I don't think it's a problem. They're doing quite well in life, so they can afford it. She really wants to help her son out with the costs. I think it's really nice of her. I thought that maybe you could help us out too. Do you think you'll be able to? It's going to be really expensive to help you buy a house to live in. I suppose it would be a real burden for you if I didn't help out. Does that mean you're going to help us out? Can I rely on your support? Well, house prices have been going up a lot recently. I know it's hard for you young people. It might be a bit too much for me, though. Don't worry. You won't have to give me any more money after this. This will be the last time you have to support me. I really want the best for you, but I don't know how much I'll be able to give you. I guess I can't say no. I'll have to help you out in whatever way I can. So is that a yes? It's a yes. I will give you some money. I'm not sure how much yet, but I'll definitely give you some. Thanks so much, Dad. Don't mention it. My one and only daughter is getting married, and I really need to do everything I can to help. When are we going to meet with his family? This month or the next? It's going to be next month. Sandra is busy this month, so she hasn't got time. We can talk about all this in more detail when we meet. Great, I'll look forward to that. In the meantime, if there's anything more that you want to talk to me about, then don't hesitate to mention it. Okay, Dad. I'll remember to do that. Hi, honey. How are you? Nice to see you here. I got to finish work early, so I thought I'd come over here and see you. I don't get the chance to do this very often. I think it's also a good chance for me to get a snack. If you want to eat something, then just let me know what you want and I can get it for you. Not that many people have been eating today, so there's plenty of stuff left. If that's the case, then maybe I should order more. Oh no, you don't need to order any more than you'd like. Business is still good. Great. Good to hear. Why did you finish work early today? Did something happen? No, nothing special. Just got to leave early. I'm really tired, to be honest. I could do with a rest. You've been working so hard. I can see you need a break. Oh, by the way, did you talk to my mom yesterday? Yes, I spoke to her. We were talking about the house. She offered to help us buy a house for when we get married. So nice of her. Did you know about it too? You didn't mention it to me. Sorry, I did find out, but only recently. I didn't know what to say. I think we should be able to buy the house without help from my mom. But it is nice that she's going to help us. I think you should just be grateful for whatever you get. You can hold on to those outdated ideas. If you need help from your mom, then just accept it. It's going to make the whole thing a lot easier for us, and we should be thankful for that. My family are going to help out too. I'm not sure how much they can give, but they'll be giving something. It's going to cost us a lot of money. Prices are just going up and up. What about other things? We might need to buy some other things. I haven't really had time to think about that yet, but it might be a nice idea. Is there anything that you think I should buy? Anything you need? I'll need a new suit and a nice watch to wear at the wedding. I don't want to look scruffy. I have a suit for work, but I don't think it's good enough for the wedding. I'll have to get something better. I think a nice watch is compulsory, too. It would really go nicely with a brand new suit. Oh, if you really want that, then I guess we should buy one. Is there a particular brand you had in mind? Do you want to go and find something together? I hadn't really thought about a brand. Why don't we go to the mall and have a look for something? Now? You want to go now? Why not? We can wait until you finish work and then we can go and look together. If you want to, then why not? I'll just have to finish here and then I'll be able to come with you. Why is he being so persistent here? Why does he want me to buy these things for him? Come on, let's go. Wow, look at this watch. So nice. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Really? Is this the one you like? 
How much is this? This is $8,000. It's a premium edition. Wow, that's really expensive. I didn't realize it was going to be this much. I think this would really suit me for the wedding. It's just my style. If we're going to buy something, then it needs to be something good. Something that'll last a lifetime. I guess you're right. That would be a really nice watch to wear for a wedding. It would really stand out on such a special day. The price is actually lower right now than it normally is. It's usually much more than that. It's a limited edition, so I've no idea how long it's going to be here for. I imagine that someone might come in at any moment and buy it. What do you think? Should we get it now before it's too late? Right now? Yeah, right now. This moment. Why wait? I don't know if I can afford such an expensive item right now. I might have to check to make sure there's enough in my bank account. If there isn't, then I'll have to get some money from my savings to pay for it. How about we come back at the weekend and buy it? What do you think? I really think it would be better if we got it now. I really don't want to be disappointed. You can pay a reservation price if you want to, and I can keep it safe for you. Do you want me to do that? That sounds like a good compromise. Please do that. Why is she making me wait until the weekend? What's she doing that for? Why can't she just buy it now? What do you think? Happy with that? We can talk to my dad about it, too. It might be a good idea to get his opinion as well. Oh, yeah, let's do that. What is that look on his face? Does he really want me to buy it now? Is that the best way to go about this? How can he expect me to spend that much money without any consideration? This watch is so expensive. It's all a bit strange to me. I'm so hungry. I'm glad we've come to the restaurant to eat. Me too. Oh, Rita. I really want to buy a nice suit as well. I think they're going to have some really nice suits in the stores here. I'm hoping we can get a really nice one. I want to look good on the wedding day. If possible, I'd like to get a unique design. I'd love to own something that was a one of a kind. If we look around, then we might find something we're happy with. So you won't be happy with a normal suit? I think we already agreed to get a really nice suit for the wedding, didn't we? I want a really nice design. I think that maybe we should even go to a designer and get a bespoke suit made for me. I could even do that when you're not with me. In fact, I have an idea. Why don't you send me some money and then I can use that to get myself a suit? You want me to send some money to you? Into your bank account? You might be busy in the cafe, so I'll have to go on my own and find something I like. If you just give me the money, then I can get it all done without bothering you. I don't want you to waste time when I can do it on my own. You don't need to be there when I'm trying the suit on. I can decide myself what looks good and what doesn't. All you need to do is transfer some money over to my account and I can get it done. Much less stress for you. But I really wanted to come with you to see the suit. I was hoping we could find something that we were both happy with. I really think you should take my opinion on board when you're making your decision. I don't think you need to. It'll be a waste of your time. It can be a nice surprise for you after I buy it. Why don't you just send me a few thousand dollars over and I can use that? A few thousand dollars? Does it really need to be that much? Of course it does. I really want something that looks good. I want to look really special on our big day. I want it to be the kind of suit you could wear at a fashion show in Paris or Milan. Just send me over the money tomorrow, please. You really want to do it that way? I guess I'll just have to do what you say. Why is he being like this today? Why is he pressuring me into spending all this money? The sooner you get it done, the better. Then we can just forget about it and move on. After we get married, we're going to be sharing our money. What's mine will be yours and vice versa. I see no reason why we can't live that way now. It's good practice for us. I guess you're right. Okay. Great. I'm glad to know that we both agree. The suit is going to be really expensive. Why? Why is it going to be so much? Sam really wanted to get a nice suit. It's going to cost thousands of dollars. He wants something really expensive and really nice. He kept on asking me to send money over to him. He told me that he wanted to go and find a nice suit on his own. He told me it would be a nice surprise for me. 
I thought it would be nice to look together, but in the end, I agreed to what he said. Does he really need to get something so expensive? I know weddings are a big thing, but I didn't know it was going to be this expensive. He could have got a cheaper suit. I know you'd love him all the same if he did. I thought the same thing, but he's really set on getting something that costs a lot of money. I think he's had his mind on it for a long time. Is it going to be from a famous designer? How much is it going to be exactly? I'm not really sure of the exact price or brand, but it's going to be expensive. They're going to be helping you out a lot when it comes to buying the house, so maybe this is the least we can do for them. It might be a lot of money, but it is for a special day and he can wear it again in the future. I think it might just be worthwhile. I'll do that. I just have a strange feeling about the whole thing. Something seems a bit... off. Why? It doesn't seem that strange to me. He wanted me to go to the mall and then he wanted me to buy a watch for him. The watch was really expensive and he wanted me to pay for it there and then. It's a big decision and not one to be taken lightly. I think you should think about these things before you go through with them. He's always been so relaxed, but all of a sudden he started to demand things. I've never seen this side of him. I think they're going to be spending a lot on you, so it's only fair that you buy something in return. It seems normal to me. Nothing to worry about. I still think there's something going on. I just don't know what it is. You're just being sensitive because you're going to get married. Try to relax a little bit. His family is doing their bit and we're going to do ours too. No need for any concern. Try not to argue before you get married. That would be a terrible shame. Maybe you're right with what you're saying here. Maybe I am being a bit too sensitive. I should really try to stay positive and relax. Oh, look, Sandra wants to talk now. I wonder what she wants. Hi, Rita. How are you? Are you free tomorrow? Hi, Sandra. I have work at the cafe, but I can leave it to the staff if you want me to. They can get along just fine with me gone. Great! I'm glad to hear that you've got time for me. I want to go to the mall, and I'm hoping you can come with me. There's a member of staff that I know quite well. They're leaving tomorrow. It's their final day. I think it would be a good chance to go and buy all of those things we talked about a little while ago. Shall we meet tomorrow at 1 o'clock? Does that sound good? That's fine. I'll tell the staff at my cafe, and I'm sure they'll be fine. Looking forward to seeing you. It's going to be fun. Great! See you tomorrow. Hi there. Sorry to keep you waiting. I tried to get here as soon as I could, but it seems I'm a bit late. Don't worry about it. No need to apologize. I've only just got here, too. Shall we go inside? Hello there. I haven't seen you for a long time. I hope you've been okay. Hi, Betty. It has been a long time, hasn't it? So nice to see you again. You look different today. A little bit more beautiful. I don't think so. You're being too nice to me. I'm the same as I always was. Oh, is this the person you were talking about? Hello. I've got all the gifts ready. I'm an expert when it comes to weddings. I know exactly what's in fashion at the moment. We can go to the VIP room now if you'd like. I can give you a better explanation of all the gifts I'm going to recommend to you. Okay, great. Let's do that. Wow, the VIP room. I have never been into a VIP room at a mall before. Really? It's really nice in there. Very luxurious. They have a really nice lounge for us to relax in. I've been a VIP at several high-end outlets and whatnot in my life, and this place is the best one I've been to. They've not missed anything out. The service is great. Everything you could ask for. Oh, really? I'll have to take your word for it. I've got nothing to compare to. I've got to thank you for this. Where would I be without you? Come on, this way. Sit down and make yourself feel at home. It's really nice in here. It's like a palace. It's great, isn't it? Regular customers can't come in here. It's only for special guests. If there is anything you want, then a staff member will go and get it for you and you can have a look at it here. 
The people here are so helpful. I'm always happy when I come here. I'm sure you will be too. You must be a bit tired. You can rest your legs now. I'm just going to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, see you in a minute. I will be working here all day, so if you need anything, you can ask me. If you want any food or drink or anything else, then please don't hesitate to ask. We offer the best service to all our VIP guests. Anything you want, we will try to get for you. Nothing is too big. Thanks for your help, Betty. I can always rely on you. I think we're going to be spending a lot today, so I hope you're going to be here to help us. I started to get a bit worried about all this. What do you mean? I'm not supposed to allow regular customers into this room. You're not a real VIP, and I shouldn't let you in here. If I get found out, then I might be in big trouble. I'm a little bit nervous about it. Don't worry about it. No one's going to find out. Just don't tell anyone. I just want you to help me out today. I really need your help. I hope you've got everything prepared. All we need to do is get through this one day and not get caught. I really don't think that's going to be too hard. I'm here with Rita because it's a very special time. Her wedding is coming up and we want to buy some gifts. You know this. I told you about it. I need Rita here to help me, so she's going to join me today. We might have broken the rules a little bit, but I don't think there's any harm in that. I feel like I'm a criminal in all of this. Do I really have to do what she says? I don't know what's going on here, but I really have a bad feeling about it. Why does she need to bring this girl with her to pay for all the stuff? It's all a bit suspicious if you ask me. This girl is so young. I wonder if she really knows what's going on. Okay, don't you worry. I'll do my best to help you out. I'll do whatever I can. I am happy to hear this. If you do a good job, then I'll give you a tip at the end of it all. All you need to do is not tell anyone, and no one is going to find out that Rita came with me today. It can be our little secret. Okay, I'll do my best. Wow, this bathroom is really nice, too. Such a lavish interior. I've never seen something quite like it. Sandra has really done well in life to be able to afford things like this. I'm lucky to be marrying her son. I never knew that shopping could be this easy. It really takes the stress away from going to all those crowded stores. Here is a catalog full of furniture. You can have a look in here and choose something you like. Thanks, I'll do that. I'm a bit thirsty. Can you get us something to drink, please? Sure, I'll do that right now. Oh, look, did you drop this? Oh, I don't know. What is it? Have a look at this and then talk to me. What's this? A note? She wants to talk to me about something? What could it be? I'm just going to the bathroom. I'll be back in a few moments. What does this note say? I'm really not sure about this woman. She seems to be up to something. She isn't actually a member of our VIP club. She gave me some money so she could come in here today. I'm worried about what's going on. It might be fraud or something like that. You need to be really careful. I'm worried about you. Do you really know what you're doing here? You look so young. I worry that you've been fooled. I've heard stories about fraudulent marriages where people pretend to get married to steal money. Are you sure you're safe? Did you read the note that I gave to you? If it's not true, then just ignore it that I'm a little bit worried about you in this whole situation. It really looks a bit suspicious to me. I don't know what to think. I've read it. Do you really mean this? Do you mean what you wrote? Yes, I do. I really think you need to be careful and find out what's going on here. That woman really creeps me out and you need to be careful. People sometimes try to get into the VIP room because they want to show off to their friends. I let it happen today, but now I feel really bad about it. I don't know if it was the right thing to do. She gave me a bribe so that she could come in here with you, but I'm not sure if it was the right thing to do. This is how bad things happen. It starts with something small and then leads on to bigger things. Maybe I should have just said no from the first moment. 
I know I'm partly to blame for all of this, but I really don't want you to be a victim in any way. I'm telling you now so that you might be able to avoid something bad happening to you. It might be nothing at all, but I just want to give you a heads up. I've met so many people over the years, but this woman really seems a bit strange to me. Something isn't right here, and you need to know. I wrote the note because I really wanted you to know my thoughts. Okay, thanks for doing that. I always thought Sandra was okay. I'm really not sure what to think about it all. Thanks for telling me your thoughts. We've come here to buy all these things because I'm going to get married soon. We're buying things for the house and we're buying a few presents too. That's how it happens. People do this to take all your money. After you've bought it all, the wedding is canceled and you never get the money back. It might sound strange, but it happens. I just thought I'd let you know. I don't want to try and cause any trouble between you and that lady, but I really have a bad feeling about her. If it's nothing, then I'm sorry, but it's best to keep your guard up just in case. Thanks for this. It's nice to know that people care. If you want me to help you in any way, then don't hesitate to ask. I'm here to serve you. Okay, thanks. I'm back! What were you two talking about while I was gone? Something interesting. We were just talking about these gifts and the things we're going to buy today. Are you ready to go and look around the shops now? You want to go now? I've only just sat down. Yes, we can see the stuff here. We'll have to go and have a look at it in the shops. Okay, we can go if you want to. She's really in a rush, isn't she? She really wants to get this done as soon as possible. I think this girl might be right. She is behaving a bit suspiciously. I really have to keep my eyes open here. I want to know what's going on. I wonder if she's really the rich person that she's been telling me she is. Is it really possible that she's been doing this to try and steal my money? It sounds crazy, but I'm starting to have my doubts about this all. I'll have to keep an open mind. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay, let's go. Have a nice time. If you have any questions, then you can come back and ask me. Oh, I did think of something. If we're going to buy all this stuff, then it's probably better if I buy it. I can get a discount with my card because I'm a VIP here. Rita, it might be a good idea if you transfer the money over to my account and then I can use it to buy the stuff. That way we can get the discount. You want me to send the money to you now? Yes, that is the only way. Like I mentioned, they are very strict on who can actually be the one buying the items. If you don't do it, then we won't be able to get the discount and everything will be a bit more expensive. We don't want to spend too much money. We're already spending enough and the discount is going to make it cheaper. That seems like a good idea. Why does she want me to send her all the money? Is it really for the discount or is there something else going on here? It all seems a bit funny to me. I think this is how it happens. They ask to send money and then you never get the money back. Maybe that girl is right. Maybe this is just an elaborate scheme to steal from me. Sandra, I'm actually feeling a bit ill right now. I don't know what's come over me. I think I just want to go home and rest for a bit. Do you think we could come back another day and buy these things? It's not a good time now. What's wrong with you now? Where does it hurt? I just feel a bit of pain in my stomach. It might pass, but I'd rather go and rest. I'm sorry about this. Is it really that bad? Do we need to go to the hospital and get you checked out? There might be something wrong. Sometimes a small pain can be a sign of a bigger problem. I don't think it's that bad. I think I just need some rest. I'll be okay after a lie down. Why didn't she send you the money? What's she playing at? She didn't send me the money for the suit either and she told me she was going to do so. She didn't pay you for the suit. No, she didn't. I was with her today in the mall, and then she told me that she felt ill and wanted to go home. All a little bit strange to me. I wonder what's going on in her mind. She told you she was sick. She won't reply to me now either. I asked her to send me the money over, and then she told me she felt ill and wanted to go home. That's funny timing, don't you think? She's usually fine. She doesn't get sick very often. I'll try and contact her again now and see what she has to say. I'll see what's going on and ask her if she can send me the money over as soon as possible. 
Just don't be too forceful with her. We don't want her to get suspicious. I won't. I'll be careful with her. She won't suspect a thing. Hi, honey. How are you? I spoke with mom. She told me that you didn't feel well. I just thought I'd phone you to see how you are. Are you okay? Do you need anything? If you want, I can come over and look after you. I'm okay, thanks. I just felt a bit ill all of a sudden. I'm better now. I just needed to have a little rest. Nothing big. So, you're getting better now? I hope it wasn't too bad for you. I'm fine now, thanks. I have something else I want to talk to you about. Can you send me the money for the suit? I found something really nice and I want to buy it. It would be great if you could send the money over to me. Oh, you found something? That's good. I think I want to see the suit before you buy it. We're going to get married and I want to know that you're buying something that I am happy with too. I think we should go and buy it together sometime instead of you buying it on your own. I think it would also be really nice if you bought something that went well with my dress. I don't want to look stupid on the day. I didn't realize that you wanted to do it this way. I thought it would be nice if I just got it on my own. I think I can have the money ready tomorrow and then we can think about going and choosing something. I want to have a good look myself. Why is she doing this? What's wrong with her? It used to be so easy to get her to agree, but now it's getting harder and harder. I really hope she hasn't figured out what's going on. That would be a real nightmare and mom would blame me again. Are you there? Are you okay? Oh, wait, I've just realized something. I've got something to do tomorrow. It just slipped my mind, but I've remembered again. I can't meet you tomorrow. Such a shame. We'll have to find another arrangement. I really don't want to miss it. I promised my friend that I'd meet him, so I can't be with you. Can't you just tell him that you've got something else to do? Surely I'm more important than he is. I really don't want to let him down. We've had this arranged for a long time. What a convenient excuse. He can't meet me because he's got something to do. If you're busy, then there's nothing I can do. We'll have to meet another time. You have a nice time with your friend and then get back to me when you've got some free time. Okay, I'll do that. Try to get better. Remember to look after yourself. You don't want to get sick. Why didn't she send the money over to you? What's taking her so long? She told me that she wants to go with me when I buy the suit. She thinks it would be better that way. I don't think this is going to be as easy as we thought it would be. It might take a bit more convincing before we get the cash. Let's just try and take it all one step at a time. We don't want her to know what we're up to. We could even employ someone to help us out. What do you mean? We could hire a designer ourselves and get them to work on our side. I don't think it would be that difficult to do that. Do you really think that would work? It might be a bit costly. I don't think it would be that much. It would be really good value for money in the long run. If we did it this way, then she really won't suspect a thing. We'll have that money in no time. Mom, you're a genius. Always one step ahead of me. I really think you're onto something here. You know me. I'm full of good ideas. Something really strange is going on, Dad, and I want to talk to you about it. It's about Sam and his mom. They're being really weird. The whole situation just stinks. What's happened to you now? Did something happen today? I was in the mall with Sandra and the staff member gave me a note. I've got it here. Please take a look at it and see for yourself. I was really shocked when I read it. Let me have a look at this. Oh my, look at this. She isn't actually a VIP at the mall. Really? She thinks that something suspicious is going on and you might end up being a victim. The person in the mall gave this to you. That's really strange, isn't it? It is strange. Shortly after, Sandra wanted me to send her some money so that she could buy the presents. I really started to worry that it's some kind of trap to get money from me. What if they just take the presents and run? Do you think they do that? Is it really possible? Do you think she'd go to such lengths to make me think that she was a VIP at the mall? She wanted me to send her a lot of money over to her account. I think that might be her plan. She could take the money and then run. 
Sam wants me to send him money, too. I'm really not sure who to trust anymore. I think we really need to do all we can to find out the truth. We can't just let this one go. We need to be cautious. Do you want me to see if there's anything I can do to help you out? Please, could you do that? I need to do something. I'm really worried now. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. This note gives me the creeps and their behavior is really strange. We don't want to be sending them all that money if we don't know what it's going to be used for. If the wedding has to be delayed, then so be it. It's better to be safe than sorry. Just try to stay calm and I'll think of some way of helping you. Thanks, Dad. Rita, how are you? I'm good, thanks. What are you doing? Don't you have to be at work now? I didn't feel so good, so I left early. I thought I'd come and see you. You know how much I like you. Thanks for that. You always think about me. He wasn't well, so he came over to see me? What a convenient excuse. This really is a funny coincidence, isn't it? I wonder why he wants to see me. I just got some medicine at the pharmacy. You should have some, too. It'll make you feel better. I don't know if I need any, to be honest. Go on, have some. I think you need it. You weren't so good recently, either. Okay, thanks for this. I have to go now. See you again soon. Does she believe me? Has she found out? I hope she hasn't worked things out like the last girl did. That would be really annoying. I think if I just keep going like this, then I'll get her to trust again. We should have that money in no time at all. Oh, you're back already. Did you want to see me again? I did. I had something to talk to you about. What is it this time? I feel that I haven't been treating you well recently, so I wanted to give you something to make you happy. Here, have this. What's this? Is it a bag? Why are you giving me a bag all of a sudden? I wanted to give you this before I bought my watch. I didn't get a chance to give it to you, so here it is. I hope you like the style. I spoke with the person in the shop, and they said that this style was really popular. A classic design. A bag? Why is he buying me a bag all of a sudden? I'm not really into bags. Why did he want to give me this? Something isn't right here. Thanks so much. I really like it. It's just my type. Sorry I'm giving it to you so late. I should have given it to you a long time ago, but I forgot to. I know you're going to be buying a lot of stuff soon, too, so I wanted to make sure you didn't feel left out. So, you like the bag? Is it your type? I like it. Yes, it's really nice. Just what I wanted. I'd also like to take you on vacation soon. I think it'd be really nice if we could get away for a while. What do you say? You want to go on vacation? This is all a bit sudden. I just feel that we need to get closer to each other. I sometimes feel that things are too formal between you and I. I think we should get away and just have as much fun as we can. It seems like a good idea. It might be nice for you and I to get away and be alone for a while. Great. I'm glad to hear that you agree with me on this. I can't wait for you and I to have some time alone together. You have a rest. I'll speak to you again later. Okay. See you. He bought me a bag and now he wants to go on vacation with me too. This is really strange. I wonder what he's up to. Why is he being so nice to me all of a sudden? I really want to get to the bottom of all this and find out what's going on here. I know there's something more to this. I just get the feeling that she knows that something is up. What makes you think that? Is something going on? I gave her the bag, but I don't know if she was really happy about it. I just get the impression that she wasn't that happy. I think you're just being a bit pessimistic. I hope so. I hope it's nothing more than that. I think she's going to give us the money soon. I really believe it. I've tried my best. I've really been nice to her, and I hope it's going to pay off now. I think it will. You're such a nice boy. Who wouldn't be taken in by you? I'm sure she really loves you, and she'll do anything for you. We just need to give it time. Rita, sit down, please. There's something that I want to talk to you about. What is it, Dad? I did some investigative work. 
I asked people at work, and they asked other people, too. Eventually, the news got back to me, and I found out what I wanted to know. It's about your future husband and mother-in-law. They are both known con artists. I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but you need to know the truth. Really? Is that the case? It's just what I didn't want to hear. I'm sorry. They're well known to the police. This isn't the first time they've done something like this. They've been caught before and told not to do it again, but it seems they've gone back to their old ways. I also found out that no one in their family actually works. They just stay at home all day doing nothing. I can't believe I've fallen for a con artist. It's so embarrassing. I'm upset by it too. Try not to blame yourself. It can happen to anyone. We both should have been more careful. We should have found out the real person before we agreed to this marriage. You didn't send them the money, did you? You still got the money in your account? I didn't send them the money yet. I still got it myself. Good, I'm glad to hear that. We should contact the police as soon as we can and they can go over there and arrest them. I'm so sorry about all of this. I really wish I had found out sooner. We could have stopped you going through all this. I really wanted you to get married and be happy. I thought it would be the right thing for you. If your mother was still alive, then none of this would have happened. She was smart and she would have seen this coming. I feel like it's all my fault. Dad, it really isn't your fault, so please stop blaming yourself. You couldn't have prevented this. I was fooled by a con artist and we'll just have to deal with this and then move on. It's not a crime to be fooled by a criminal. It's not your fault. We don't need to panic. I haven't even sent them the money. I've still got all the money, so no harm has been done. Oh, wait. He is calling me now. I wonder what he wants. You should answer it and press the record button. We might need to use this as evidence later. Okay, that's a good idea. I'll do that. Hello. Hi. What have you been doing? I haven't heard from you in a long time. Are you okay? Sorry, I just didn't have any time. How are you now? I'm good. I was just thinking about those presents that you were going to buy. Especially the watch. We haven't made any progress on them recently. I was wondering what your thoughts were. Do you want to go and get it now? Now? You want to go now? Why not? We reserved it, didn't we? We can go and pick it up now. I'll meet you at the mall. Let's go. I'd love to. I think we should also go out and eat something nice, too. I've not been for a meal with you for ages. I'd like to do that, too. We can find a place to eat later. See you soon! Dad, tell the police that we're going to the mall. I want them to be there when we arrive. They can arrest him straight away and send him off to jail where he belongs. I really don't want to wait that long. He might figure out what's going on and try to make a run for it. I'll tell the police right away. We should also try to catch the mother. We need to get them at the same time. I can't believe that the two of them would work together, and I can't believe that we fell for it. How could such a bad family exist? Mother and son both working together to steal from us. There's really all kinds of people in this world. Good and bad. We'll just have to be careful from now on. Rita, hi, I'm here. Hello, Sam. I've been expecting you. What's going on here? What do you want? It's a police officer. I'm sure you know what a police officer looks like. Don't pretend you've never met one before. He already knows your name, too. What are the chances of that? I'm arresting you on suspicion of fraud. It's probably best if you don't say anything now. You can talk at the police station. We'll try to find a lawyer for you, too. You called the police? Why did you do that? It was actually my dad who called the police. I agreed to it. I can't believe that I was taken in by a con artist. Thank God I found out before it was too late. You've done this before, haven't you? You've already been caught doing it. I can't believe I fell in love with a criminal like you. What was I thinking? How did you know about all this? Where did you learn this from? I don't know what you heard, but it isn't true. I'm a good man. 
There's no way I'm getting arrested for any of this. See you losers later. Stop. Don't move or it'll only make your situation worse. Quick! Chase after him! I'm so sorry I let him get away. Rest assured he won't be able to flee from us for too long. Don't worry about it. He knocked over everything in your path and made it impossible for you to chase him. I'm just a bit worried that he'll change his identity and make it harder in the future to go after him. You know, he's done this many times before. He and his mother luring unsuspecting women saying he's going to marry them, get the women to send them all kinds of gifts and money, then disappear. What terrible people. I feel so stupid for falling for their lies. Don't be so hard on yourself. They're extremely skilled and convincing, and they've had many victims in the past. One thing we do know is that they've always targeted victims within the same state. They haven't moved outside of state lines to conduct their scams. Even though he got away today and will most likely change locations, the chances of them staying somewhat locally and trying again are very high. Does that mean you'll be able to follow him? I can give you his license plate information if you don't have it already. Thank you, but we have all the information we need already. We've also informed different police headquarters throughout the state. They'll be looking out for him and will inform us immediately if they find either one of them. I see. Well, let me know if there's anything else I can do and I'd be happy to cooperate. There's a good chance we will need your assistance later down the road. We'll be in touch. Mom, the jig is up. They're on to us. I just had to run away from the cops. Rita had them waiting for me at the mall and I was seconds away from being arrested. Crap! All this hard work is now for nothing, you stupid idiot! Me? I didn't do anything. I have no idea how they caught on to us. Everything was going according to plan. For all we know, it could have been you that led them to looking further into us. You were probably too pushy asking for all of those things. How dare you blame this on me? I'm always the reason why these plans work. You definitely did something stupid to screw everything up. Ugh, oh, now we have to start all over again. We were so close to getting a huge payout. Her parents were rich! There's nothing we can do about that now, so let's just move on. I think we should wait a bit until things cool down and then we can try again. No way. We have to strike while the iron is hot. We're already in the right state of mind to keep going. I don't want to stop and get rusty. If you say so. But also, this time I think it's better we do this somewhere far away. We're really pushing our luck doing this over and over in the same state. This time, let's go over to the East Coast. I'm sure we can find someone with even more money than Rita and her family. Are you stupid? Going somewhere new would all but guarantee we get arrested. You don't know anything about what it's like over there. We need to stay to the place we know. But they're looking for us now. It's too risky to stay here. We need to get as far away as possible. What's changed? Every person we've scammed money out of has definitely reported us to the police. Let them look all they want. We're smart enough to stay hidden. I really don't think this is a good idea. I think we're flying a bit too close to the sun. Maybe we should just call it quits altogether. I don't want to go to jail if I can avoid it. Plus, we have plenty of money to lay low for a good amount of time. Sam, you idiot! I don't want to hear anything like that out of you! We are not stopping, and if anything, we need to double our efforts because we just lost out this time. Get back here as soon as possible to pack your things. We're going to move further up north. Fine. But if anything goes wrong, don't say I didn't warn you. Hey, Sam. It's Jenna from the flower shop. It was great to meet you earlier. We had such a nice conversation, and I feel like we clicked right away. Hi, Jenna. It was great to meet you, too. Yeah, I think we really hit it off, and I would love to get to know you better. I mean, what are the chances both of our parents are surgeons? What a small world. I know, right? Even though it was our first time talking to each other, I feel like I already know you somehow. That just goes to show that we were meant to meet each other, don't you think? If you're not doing anything this weekend, I would love to take you out to dinner. What do you say? If you think it's too sudden, I would totally understand, though. 
No, I think that would be a great idea. Do you have anywhere in mind that you want to go? Well, I forgot to mention, but I just moved to this area, so I don't really know many good places. Do you know anywhere that's good? I can pretty much eat anything. Actually, I know this really good steakhouse that's close to where we were today. They have the best cheesecake ever for dessert. And since you're new in town, I want it to be my treat. It's my way of welcoming you to town. Wow, are you serious? A nice steakhouse sounds expensive. Don't worry about it. I actually just got my bonus at work, so I have some extra cash at the moment. Plus, my mom just gave me a couple thousand for my birthday. That's great. I'd be a fool to say no to a free meal. I'm really looking forward to it. How about we meet up at around six? Just send me the location and I can meet you out front. Sounds good. You better come hungry because I want to order a lot of food. Will do. See you then. Mom, I hit the jackpot. I think I have another sucker for us to get money from. Oh, you do? Tell me about it. It's this girl I just met today at a flower shop. Apparently, she's super rich and her mom is a surgeon. She bought into the lie that you were a surgeon too right away and didn't think twice. She said that her mom just gave her thousands of dollars for her birthday and she got a good bonus at work. I think this is going to be like shooting fish in a barrel. That's music to my ears. There's nothing like a stupid rich woman who is willing to part ways with her money. I was getting worried you lost your touch. It's been a while since we had another dumb woman who we can prey on. I was paranoid after what happened with Rita. We came so close to getting caught I didn't want to rush into anything. I didn't even have to do anything really this time around. She basically found me. Isn't that great? I think we need to make up for lost time. Try to feel things out, but don't be afraid to propose only after a month or two. We need to get in and out as fast as possible. I agree. She already sounds like she's super into me. She even said she felt like she already knew me. Isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the best part. We're going to some fancy steakhouse and she said she would pay for the whole bill. I'm off to a great start. <laughs> you better bring some home for me. You know how much I love steak. Sure thing. Anyway, you better do your research on what it's like to be a surgeon because I told her you were one. Leave it to me. After all the research I've done being a fake doctor, I feel like I should get an honorary medical degree. <laughs> You're too funny. I'll let you know how the dinner goes. Thanks again for coming to dinner. I promise you this is going to be a night to remember. I really hope so. I came hungry just like you said. I just want to make sure that you're still okay with picking up the tab. Of course. It was my idea to come here. Feel free to order whatever you like. Wow, these prices are pretty crazy. Are you sure it's okay? Yes, it's totally fine. What do you want to order? I love the ribeye here, but the T-bone is really good too. Oh, actually, let's get the dry-aged one. It's a little more expensive, but I heard it's really good. I'm fine with whatever you want to get. I have a real appetite, so I can eat whatever you put in front of me. Awesome. Well, I made up my mind, so let me call the waitress over. Are you ready to order? What can I get for you? What's going on here? Rita, is that you? We meet again, you pathetic excuse for a human being. Did you think you could hide from me forever? I'm out of here. Good luck trying to catch me again. If I were you, I wouldn't move a muscle. Whoa! Why are you pointing a gun at me? Just who are you? I'm Detective Jenna Mulligan. We've been tracking you and your mother ever since you moved away after nearly being caught last time. Didn't you think it was strange how perfect my story was? A young, rich woman that suddenly showed so much interest in you. The plan worked like a charm. Thank you for all your help, Rita. We couldn't have done it without you. I'm just so happy that he's finally going to jail where he belongs. But I didn't even do anything. It was all my mom's idea. She's the one who kept pushing me to do all this. Plus, what's the big deal, Rita? We never even got any money out of you in the end. It was a total failure. Maybe not. 
but you did get a whole lot of money from all your other victims. Plus, you tried to defraud me. And that's a crime even if you weren't successful. I just cut the crap. Don't blame this all on your mom. You could have said no at any time and put an end to your crimes. Instead, you just couldn't help yourself, and in the end, that's what killed you. Fine. You may catch me, but you'll never catch my mom. She's way too smart for you idiots. Oh, we already have her in custody. We arrested her earlier tonight. Don't you think it was weird you haven't heard from her in a couple of hours? I know how much you two love to talk to one another. You did? How did you even find her? You really aren't as clever as you think you are. We've been tailing you for months, and we know you two have been living together at a motel not far from here. According to my colleagues who made the arrest, she tried to escape but tripped over her untied shoelace and landed flat on her face. Doesn't sound like a very smart person if you ask me. <laughs> Shut up! There's no way I'm going to jail! Very arrogant of you to say that when you have all these guns pointing at you. You're not going anywhere. Oh my gosh! Is everyone in this restaurant a police officer? That's right. You already got away once. We didn't want to take any chances of you getting away again. Before you finally get taken away, I just have one question for you. Don't you feel bad for what you've done? You preyed on the emotions of women who really cared about you. I really thought I loved you, Sam. I guess things could have turned out way worse if you were successful in taking my money away, so I suppose this was the best case scenario. But don't you have a conscience? No, I don't feel bad at all. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and you have to do whatever it takes to get ahead. This is all just a game to me. It was all about how fast I could do it and how much money I can make. This is the land of opportunity, and there's a million ways to make money here. Yeah, and the way you chose is not legal. That's why you'll be going away for a long time. I'll make sure the judge throws the buck at you. You and your mother won't be seeing the light of day for a long time. Go ahead and try. I'll be out in no time. Spoiler alert! No, he did not get out in no time. After Sam and his mom were arrested, they were immediately charged with a whole list of things. The main one being scamming a total of six women. The thing with people like them is that they think they're just too clever to actually ever get in trouble. The whole time they were detained and even during the trial, they thought there would be a chance to somehow weasel their way out of all of this. Slowly but surely, they came to realize that this time was different. There was no way for them to get away this time. In the end, they were both sentenced to eight years in jail for all the damage they caused to their victims. They were also ordered to pay everything back. Just goes to show you can never be too sure about someone being who they say they are. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to see more content.